do amazing things. You have more power than you know to create extraordinary wellness and happiness. But that can be really hard to remember once you've been diagnosed with cancer. Cancer treatment can be so disempowering. You're asked to hand yourself over to a system that's only interested in the cancer. It barely considers that treatment has profound effects on you as a person. And when treatment is done, you're told to come back in a few months and your support team goes away. But you know you're not done. You're exhausted. You don't feel well. You don't know what to do next. And at a time when you clearly need more support, you're left alone at the side of the road without a map. It doesn't have to be that way. My job is to provide you your map and to take your hand and to be your guide. After cancer, there's healing that needs to take place at every level. If your body's not feeling well, I can help you with that. But it's at least as important to check in with your spirit. Are your needs being met? Are you well supported? Are you struggling with any kind of stress? Are you optimistic about your future? Too many survivors live in fear. They're caught in a waiting game between medical follow-ups and they're terrified that their cancer will come back. My mission is to help you get back in charge, to give you tools to live well every day so you go back for follow-up knowing you did all you could to keep the cancer at bay. My job is to empower you to become a fully participating member of your healthcare team. Your voice counts. No one's more of an expert on your needs than you are. Life is never the same after cancer, but you don't have to settle for less than what you had before. Just the opposite. There's an opportunity to laugh louder and to love deeper and to really live into the preciousness of each day. It's an opportunity to ask, what really matters to me? And to create a life that looks like what you most value. My father had pancreatic cancer. But into the last weeks of his life, he was creating a legacy of happy memories. He was creating a life that mattered, even in the company of terminal cancer. If I could say just one thing to every survivor, it would be, you have more power than you know to heal your body and create happiness. Don't settle for less than a life you really love. You can create an extraordinary life after cancer. I believe in you.